What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and uh, today we're going to be talking about something that the subject might be a little darker than the channel's used to. But I just honestly don't understand how this happens, okay? This is one of those mess ups that like you read it and you just have to reread it and wonder how in the world professionals let this happen. The article that I'm talking about is first responders in Sherbrooke, Quebec apologize after mistaking fire victim for mannequin. Yeah, that's right. I guess some lady had been like badly burned in a fire, obviously had sadly passed away, but they ended up just tossing her into a dumpster because they thought that she was a mannequin, dude. Call me crazy, but I want the first responders on the scene to be making sure that stuff, you know, is just stuff before they throw it away. I also feel like that's just one of those things that you definitely might want to double check, bro. If there's like a body shaped charred thing in a fire, you don't just assume it's a mannequin and toss it in the fire. That's probably worth a little bit of a closer examination, you know? The heads of the police and fire departments in Sherbrooke held a somber news conference Thursday afternoon apologizing and then explaining the circumstances that led up to them mistaking a woman's burnt body for a mannequin before disposing of it in a dumpster at a police station. Details of the mishandled remains emerged Thursday morning nearly a week after the events took place, prompting the first responder services to address reports in the blah 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 southeast of Montreal. Oh my goodness, dude. How how in the world does this even happen, bro? I feel like as the police and fire department, you have one job, you know? You guys are supposed to be the expert on being able to tell, like, what is what when it comes to that type of stuff and take care of it appropriately. How does this many people on one crime scene all make this large of a mistake and then to just, like, toss it in the dumpster? That means so many people had to have, like, brought it back to the police station, talked about where they were going to put it, and at no point any of them checked? I also love how they had a somber news conference. Yeah, it better be somber. Are you guys kidding me? Like, how? How? How do you even... Dude, imagine the poor guy that had to do the speaking for this one, dude. They threw him in front of the cameras. They're like, look, we really, really messed up. He's like, all right, what happened? They told him, and he's like, you want me to explain that to the news? That's what I have to go get up in front of them and explain? I feel so, so horrible for this person's family, dude. Like, you would think at the bare minimum they would be able to not fumble this type of a, a thing. Like, seriously, you know, the fire department would would be able to identify burned remains. You would think that. This really just blows my mind, bro. Like, I, I even can't believe that it happened in, like, a country nearby, you know? If this ever were to happen, like, in, you know, Estonia, like, Slovenia, it would be like, oh, okay, I mean, obviously I don't understand how it happened, but... I guess that makes a little bit more sense. No offense to those countries. You guys get what I mean. But like Canada and the United States are supposed to be the cream of the crop when it comes to firefighters, that type of stuff in terms of like expertise. And if the Canadian fire department is making mistakes like this, dude, it's just even more dramatically embarrassing. When they arrived, witnesses declared that someone had lit a silicon mannequin on fire, McConnell said, adding that at that point, firefighters requested assistance from the police. After discussions between the two departments, it was agreed that the mannequin would be disposed of in the container at the police service, which cannot be accessed by members of the public. Wait, 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 you're telling me that they showed up to the scene of this crime, there's like a human-shaped thing burning, and then everybody there just goes, Nah, nah, it's a mannequin, bro. It's a mannequin. And they don't ask any questions. They don't check. They don't make sure. They don't ask who set it on fire, where they went. They just go, oh yeah, then it must be a mannequin? I thought the entire point of the police was to try to figure out what went down, bro. They literally just showed up, took the first possible answer, and ran with it. They did the equivalent of like when you're cheating on a multiple choice test and you don't check to make sure you have the same version of the test and then just start copying answers, you give yourself a 0%. I didn't realize that it was that easy to just get police to do stupid things, bro. They just show up and you're like, ah, this, this is a mannequin. They're like, all right, must be a mannequin then. As I said, what I don't understand about this is like police and firefighters, all of them at the scene of this crime, none of them checked, not a single one or just recognized it. As I said, obviously this is horrible, but you would think firefighters, you know, police would kind of know the, the signs of this stuff. I've never been around something like this, but I'm assuming it has a particular smell. 
Like, oh no, it's just someone's cooking barbecue. Like, what even, how does this happen, dude? And then I also love the image of them, like, all having a huddle. The firefighters are like, well, we don't want it in our dumpster. They're like, well, we don't want it in our dumpster. And then finally they just rock, paper, scissors for it. I also think they probably needed to do a little bit more than a press conference, you know? Like, this just seems like you might want to go directly apologize to the people affected in the family. I don't necessarily know that we need you on the news, like, embarrassing yourself this bad. Maybe it's good. It's good that it is getting exposed, I guess, to kind of shame them and make it never happen again. But I also feel like the family deserves, like, a one-on-one -on -one apology, you know? They don't just deserve to turn on the news and hear it from, like, just some guy in a press conference. Once again, we would like to reiterate, our bad. I, like, I think they deserve a little bit more than that. Four hours after firefighters did so at 2.15 p.m., a man filed a missing person report for his partner. They then tracked the woman's cell phone signal to her car, which was parked near the site of the fire. A police officer who intervened earlier raised the coincidence insightfully, McConnell said, and police retrieved the so-called mannequin from the container and were able to identify it as the body of the missing woman. All right, obviously I'm not a detective here, I'm not in charge of any investigations, but what I would recommend to the police is, uh, maybe, hopefully, I mean, they didn't do anything else right, they, like, kept a log of everybody who was there, and I would definitely want to start asking questions to the people that were like, nope, definitely a mannequin, nothing to see here, cops, please, just a mannequin, get this burnt mannequin away from here, wow, can you believe that somebody burned a mannequin? I mean, obviously, they've already bumbled it, so at this point, they have to solve it. Like, if this ends up being a cold case that doesn't get solved, that's just the biggest L on their part. What's even more frustrating is, like, obviously, it's a fire, so a lot of evidence wasn't going to have made it anyways, but, like, I'm sure any evidence that did survive has been contaminated at this point because, you know, it's been thrown in dumpsters. This is just all botched from the very beginning, bro, and I really just do have to say, like, I feel awful for the family of this person and, like, the person. Nobody deserves disrespect like that, especially, especially in a circumstance where, like, that's probably one of the worst ways to go. I just hope that the police are able to solve it, because at this point, if they don't solve this one, bro, like, what's even the point? Quebec might as well just get rid of them, dude. You might as well just have a bunch of guys running around with fake badges with finger guns making noises going pew, 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 like at that point because you know that that's the equivalent we are obviously sorry about this situation and rest assured the family is being advised about every key detail of the investigation our hearts are with the family her parents and the kids in this very tragic situation of course it got worse mcconnell said sherbrooke police are now assisting the coroner's office in its investigation and that the crown's prosecutor office and quebec's police watchdog the bureau of independent investigations or the bei have been consulted on the day it happened last Friday, Sherbrooke police told Radio Canada that officers had been deployed at the corner of Roy and Cabana Streets in connection with the missing persons report, but there had been no police spokesperson on duty at that time. The head of the fire department said that he wanted to address the public to rectify the lack of transparency. Yeah, I would say that it, it's not a lack of transparency, it just seems like a lack of doing things the way they're supposed to be done. Obviously, the lack of transparency isn't the issue if we're hearing about it and you guys are coming out and, like, admitting that you guys sucked at this particular moment. And, you know, I'm also seeing that, like, oh, the, the, it's so crazy that the police watchdog came in. No, bro, it's probably time for them to have a babysitter. You know, like, here's how I think it should go down. You get one. You get one. You bumble it once, you, the babysitter's got to come in and make sure you don't mess up the rest of this investigation. And you know what? I'd even be able to say, like, it depends on the mistake. You accidentally step on a little bit of, like, uh, I don't know, the entryway before it's been checked for footprints or whatever. I, I, I could see that happening. If you literally take the body and don't realize it's a body and throw it away, it's probably time for a big boy to come in and make sure that you guys do the rest of the investigation the right way. I just honestly can't believe this happened, bro. As I said, I obviously feel horrible for the person this happened to, the family. Like, this is obviously losing someone is hard enough already, but like, just having this entire debacle around it too has got to be even worse. As I said, they just, they, they have to solve this one, dude. Like, this is one of those cases that there is no feasible way that they can't. I mean, obviously, they, they maybe might not be literally able to, but, like, for PR purposes and making the community trust them again and for this family, they gotta solve this one. But, uh, yeah, on that note, guys, I think that's gonna do it for the video. I don't want to say if you enjoyed it, because that just feels wrong, but, you know, if, if the video was informational, if you could press the like button, I'd appreciate it. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and end it there. I'm not really going to plug anything, but 
Uh, yeah. Moral of the story, be very careful and, I don't know, double check stuff if you're the fire department. Maybe just double check it. I'll, uh, see you guys tomorrow with another video. Peace.